Hey, this is Steve Peranto with another instructional video from Pickleball TV. Today's instruction is going to be about where to hit that put away. Here's what I like to teach my students when they finally have that high put away. I want them to hit that ball down to the opponent's feet at whoever is closest to you because they have the least time to react. Here's a good point where the player in the bottom left hits a nice overhead to the opponent right across from his feet. So there also are places I don't want you to hit when you have that high put away. Number one, I don't want you to aim this ball at a sideline. You might miss it wide. You're just gonna give the point away. What's so bad about that? You're turning a winner into a loser. Ow. Another place I don't want you to hit this high put away is to the player that's farther away. Um, they have more time to react, especially if they're back. I know we've been taught to keep the team pinned back, but this isn't one of those situations. In this point, Steve in the upper left shows you what not to do. The lines shown here are where you should be hitting the ball, but instead, he hits it to the player who's back. This gives them a chance for a nice reset, and they've worked their way back up to the net. In this last point, the player in the top right hits a nice overhead to the player who just hit a poor return who's also closer, who's pressured. Finishes out with some nice clean overheads, stays away from the sidelines, and the point is over. So in closing on this lesson, remember when you finally get that high put away, go for the feet of the player that is closest to you so that they'll have the least amount of time to react. And whatever you do, don't go for sidelines. You might miss it out and you've just turned that winner into a loser.